73% of those they surveyed said they would be afraid to stand up for what they believe. 58% of them said they'd do anything for money. 45% of them believe corruption is okay. It's not that in itself that is wrong. What we've been saying is that is a huge opportunity for innovation and creativity. So what would happen in Kenya, in your school, if more teachers and their students were smarter with their feelings? EQ, emotional quotient, is just being smarter or wiser with your feelings. It's not so much what people say, it's not so much what they do, it's more how they make you feel. Because emotions drive people and people ultimately drive the outcomes. Based on research, these factors, accountability, commitment, connection, growth and trust are the drivers of performance. And performance in an educational environment means learning. Each of you have so much emotional power in your classroom. In education, we often talk about having a growth mindset. That's how we talk about intrinsic motivation. And we have to cultivate intrinsic motivation in our students so that they ultimately don't need us anymore. So that they can stand on their own two feet. Don't worry about the enormity of the problem. Just do your little thing. Because that's what will make the difference. And that's why we called it the hummingbird leadership program, which is a program that you will be implementing in your school to support children in developing their self-awareness to become courageous leaders. The story of the hummingbird is about this huge forest being consumed by a fire. All the animals in the forest come out as they watch the forest burning, and they feel very powerless, except this little hummingbird. It says, I'm going to do something about the fire. All the animals, they are standing there helpless. And they are saying to the hummingbird, what do you think you can do? You're too little. But as they continue to discourage it, it turns to them and tells them, I am doing the best I can. And that to me is what all of us should do. We all have emotional intelligence. It's not rocket science. You don't have to go to university. It's just about being more aware into the classroom, into your family, into your community. It's the little things that Wangari Mathai talked about. Little things really make a difference in the world. I can do the best that I can in the space that I am. And as Jane said, those ripples may ripple out and who knows what impact that will have. And so if we can become smarter with our feelings, even as educators, as teachers, as program officers, our societies are riddled with all manner of challenges. If we can channel the pursuit for money through the provision of services and goods, our young people are thinking about in this community, what problem can I solve? And in so doing, make money. The reality about values is they make more sense in action. 
We need to teach our children how to feel, to express themselves. I learned that when I teach with love, my classroom will be the best conducive place for learning. So as a teacher, I make resources be available to them. Yeah. Then they will use those resources to change yeah. their attitudes. I've learned to appreciate the little effort done by the learners. Our feelings ride our actions. So our feelings are always what really drives institutions, drives Kenya as a country, drives us as a community, and drives me as an individual. Teaching is a calling and that you give of yourself every day to these children about how we prepare these children for the future.